Mickelson was just told by the walking score. He asked, wanted to know, and was told that Monty's par putt was missed. And what he doesn't know is that Ogilvy is in birdie position, and he probably isn't even factoring in Ogilvy. Hi, this is Michael Beverger with Golf.com. I'm delighted to be here with Mark Loomis, the executive producer of Golf for Fox Sports. You've caddied here, you've played in tournaments here, and today we're going to talk about Phil Mickelson's play on the 72nd hole of one of the most famous U.S. Opens of all time. Now, you've played here with Jim Curry and other athletic left-handers. What is a left-handed golfer trying to do here on this 18th hole? Well, I mean, you know, it looks like when you're standing on this tee, it kind of looks like a dog leg left, but the reality of it is is that the first shot is a pretty straight shot. Right at that bunker is the way to go. I think back then it was probably about 295 to that bunker, and so you're either trying to be uh, just to the left of it, being in it's not the end of the world, and uh, if, if you're gonna make a mistake, right of it is the easiest way to be. Mark, you set up on the left side of the tee box here. What's he trying to do? It looks to me like he's just aiming at maybe that right edge of that bunker and just trying to hit a kind of a, a, a little a cut out there, and uh, you know, sets up, that's the right shot. Uh, it just didn't work out. Well, as we watch here, it just, it wasn't a shot he ended up hitting. It, if you look at the swing, it doesn't look like he's fully committed to hitting a hard driver. To me, it looks like a, you know, a softer driver swing, and it, it's just he lost it left, and uh, as you see, it hits that tent. And as soon as you're over there, you, 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 there's a lot, there's a lot that can go wrong. So there's, if you get over there, you are going to work hard. Five's a hard score. this area have looked like back in 2006? So this would have been very, it's pretty similar, but I mean, it would have been packed with people. So starting about right, uh, I'll say we'll come right over here. So starting about right here. Roger, what about a report on Mickelson's situation and lie? Well, it's out where the gallery has walked. You know, we're in the area now where the crowd is. And so, you know, as, as deep as the rough is right now, the deeper the rough is they try to make it. When the crowd is here for the week, you know, it's, it's sunny, it's, it was dry. Could try to play it from 210 yards. So let's see what happens. He's got a clean lie. Did he hit it? Oh, yes, he did, giving himself a chance. And it does. Plus five is the lead right now. And Ogilvy owns it. That was a courageous par out of that divot that he was in, the sand-filled divot. And to get that up and in from short of the green was miraculous. I always thought precision golf was the key to winning U.S. Opens, but I guess I'm just getting old. The one thing that happened that maybe was unlucky, that tent, that corporate hospitality tent, if he doesn't hit the tent and he ends up in that fairway, he actually has a lot of options and probably could probably hit it on the green. Uh, worst case scenario would be around the green. But when he kicks off that tent back in the rough down in here, that's where it gets complicated because as much as he had a clean lie, there's just not a lot of options here. You've got a tree here. This tree's probably a little bigger now, uh, 14 years later. Well, Johnny, he's trying to see the flag. For him to play on that line, he would have to keep the ball unbelievably low. I don't know how the shot could work out. You know, that tree blocks him from going up. And so now he's got to try to figure out how to go around, maybe under, but under, you know, there's not much space. Was there 10 feet there between the, between the grass and that tree? So he's got to basically start a golf shot 100 yards to the right. If you look at it, that's the 10th hole. It's about halfway down the 10th hole. It's about 100 yards uh, right of that 18th green. So he's got a three iron out from 210 yards. To get it to cut that much uh, is a tough ask. 210. Oh, oh no, I just caught an elm tree solid. And I believe it's gone backwards, and he still has got to be in a very bad situation, blocked out from the green. So, I mean, there was one guy after the next, you know, had struggled with this hole. Ogilvy was the only one who was able to, to get out of it. Since four could win it here, tough spot. You know, I think that's kind of why, you know, New York loves Phil, and that's why we all love watching Phil play golf. He, he you know, he always, he always went for it. Uh, and, and it's hard to say that that was a bad thing. He's he had an incredible career. He's one of the greatest golfers of all times. But sometimes when you go for it, uh, it doesn't work out. He advanced that second shot 25 yards, 30 yeah, yards? really, not much, right? It, not it much. hit a tree and kicked down, and so now he's, you know, he's here. 
which we were, if he probably, if he'd hit his drive solidly, it's probably where he would have been originally, uh, you know, if you hit it in the left rough. So where is he going to hit this, right? Yeah, right over everything? He's back. got an eight and he's going to try to hoist it up across these trees in front of him. He's going to have to get it up quickly. Well, he's taking a chance to lose that open out right here if he doesn't pull us off, doesn't make it through the trees. You know, he's going to lose the open. Remember, a bogey gets him in a playoff. He could play for the playoff, you know. You don't have to go for the gusto here. There was a little bit more room over here. I believe he was trying to go uh, left to right uh, with his with his eight iron, and he just couldn't turn it, and it got in that front left bunker, and it plugged. This is the third. He's playing it forward. Get him! Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's hit it very high, but way left. He's going to try to get it up and in from, well, it's got the oh, front left bunker. It's a fried egg in there. It is just implanted in that bunker, and Ogilvy has been watching all of it. This is a nightmare right here. You know, New York loves Phil, uh, always has. And, you know, people were excited. I think there was a real energy here that Phil had a real chance to finally win the U.S. Open. He'd been second three times. And so, I, you know, th th this place was going crazy. Just a champion. We're going to get him one lift as he comes up here to try to pull off the improbable. I want to see the look on his face when he sees where that ball is. Man, he got a couple bad breaks on the lies, didn't he? Mark, it's not completely over by the time Phil gets here but it's pretty close to over. Now we see the pin back here. Is this where the flag stick yeah, was then? It's about where it is. The green's a little different now. Once he's in that bunker, this whole green runs that way. And if, when he's plugged, nobody can hit it. If Phil can't do it, who can? The only real chance he had was either hit that flag stick or maybe chip it in for five. And Jeff Ogilvy survives Wingfoot and wins the United States Open. Six left him one shot back out of a playoff that he would have dearly loved. You know, there have been so many great moments. Bobby Jones, uh, you know, Hale Irwin won here in 1974. Billy Casper, just such a great place. Uh, so much history on the screen. Still, even in the aftermath, Phil showed his filmness. He did, you know, he's so gracious. It's, you know, amazing to think about the fact that he thought he was gonna win the US Open on that tee, and by the time he got here, uh, you know, he, most people would be crushed. Uh, you know, would have gone away and we, we hadn't seen him, but he, he did a lot of things post that, that that were really commendable, you know, congratulating Jeff Ogilvy and going to the ceremony for the second place. And then at the very end of it, uh, you, know, uh, you know, weeks later, a, a letter showed up thanking the membership and, and Wingfoot for holding a great championship. Incredible. It fills Phil. He's trying to make four and win the championship outright.